Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and here's Google Apps Updates Roundup number 73 and in this episode I'm going to show you 30 new features in 13 different Google Apps so without further ado let's jump in. Let's start with Google Photos and the first change is in the info pane. When you open any photo or video and then swipe up you will see a new create button which will give you three quick shortcuts either to create a movie, a collage or a cinematic photo and instead of going to library and then utilities to do exactly the same thing. Change number two is under settings and now everything is grouped together instead of having a long list of options like before and for example here you have preferences which will include some options and then you have notifications will include all the notification settings then you have sharing and so on and so forth so it's a little bit easier than before but I couldn't find any new feature under settings. Change number three and the last one is the centered date in the widgets instead of being left aligned like before. Next YouTube music and the first change is the redesigned now playing screen. In my previous episode I showed you a screenshot from my Pixel 7 Pro after getting the feature for a few minutes and then disappeared but thankfully now I have it permanently on my Pixel 5. It looks slightly different from the one I showed you earlier for example the thumbnail design is different and also the text and buttons are now bigger. You will also notice that I have a comments button over here which will allow you to engage with the creator and I think YouTube music is the only service that provides this feature which is very useful. Let me also show you all the buttons you get in the carousel. Here you have the like, dislike, the comments, save, share, download, and radio. Change number two is the ability to dismiss the queue. If you remember in my previous episode, Google removed the swipe down gesture to dismiss the queue from the mini player, but they replaced it with an option under the ellipses. Now we have an option here called dismiss queue. When you tap on it, it will remove everything from your queue and you don't have the ability to open the now playing unless you play something else. Next, YouTube. And it got three new exciting features that you can try right now if you have a premium subscription. And if you want to try any of them, you need to go to your profile menu and then settings and then try new features. The first one is called lock screen, which will prevent any accidental touches while watching content. So here is one of my videos and when I play it in full screen and then tap on the gear button, you will see here an option called lock screen. Tapping on it will lock everything so I don't have the option to get the media controls. But if I want to unlock the player, I need to tap it once and then tap on the padlock to get back to the normal state. The second feature is called bigger previews while seeking. This will allow you to see the previews in a bigger size while scrapping through the video to make it easier for you to reach the part you want. And here is one of my videos. And when I drag my finger over the seek bar, you will notice here that the preview is now in full screen. It will also show you the chapter name and the time on the left. I like it, but I think the preview quality is really poor, so it doesn't look great and I don't feel comfortable to use it so I hope Google will enhance the quality of the preview because now it's in full screen and it looks pixelated when you use this feature. The third one is the ability to long press anywhere on the player to watch at 2x and I already showed you this feature in one of my previous episodes and it was available by default without the need to activate anything but it seems like Google moved it under the try new features section. Change number four is the listening controls are now called premium controls. So when you tap on the gear button, you will see premium controls over here. So it seems like Google is making this feature exclusive to premium subscribers. And when you open it, it looks exactly the same as before, but it has a name change. You get here the ability to like, save, change the speed or the, uh, the quality of the video. And that's pretty much it. Change number five is the more categories under the explore tab. Now we have trending, music, live, gaming, news, sports, learning, and then fashion and beauty. I think the new ones are news, learning, fashion, and beauty. And lastly, the YouTube premium subscription is now more expensive. You will see here the price is $12 instead of only 10 like before. Next, we have the Google Files app and it got two new features. The first one is the ability to multi-select files by date. You will see here a checkbox next to each day and when you tap on it, it will select all the items underneath it, which will make it easier for you to share files. Change number two is the ability to share folders via nearby share. So for example, if I want to share this folder, when I select it, I have here the nearby share option at the top right corner, which will allow me to do so. And it says here, cannot share an empty folder. Let's try another one. 
tap on share and it says here six files will be shared with the other person talking about nearby share i spotted two new visual tweaks in the nearby share card you will not see that all the items now match the wallpaper colors and instead of using the light blue or gray color like before plus the done and cancel buttons are no longer showing but we only have one button called done that also supports the wallpaper colors next the google home app and it got a small tweak if you are using a pixel when you access your device controls and then tap the ellipses you will see a slightly redesigned overlay menu with a new option called remove app tapping on it will simply remove the google home app controls from your device controls menu and if that's the case you will need to re-add and reorder everything again from scratch next the google app and it got some visual tweaks the first one is in the discover feed you will notice here that the background of the articles now matches the device colors and instead of using only a white background like before not only this but now the font is bolder when you compare it to the current design so here's a screenshot an older screenshot i used to have and when i go now to the current design you will see the font is slightly bolder and that's it when it comes to the discover feed the second change is the new finance watch list widget so when you go to the google app and then scroll down a bit you will see this new widget over here so let me add it to the home screen it has different sizes this is the smallest one you can get and here's the biggest size here you have an edit button that will allow you to add more uh, investments to follow by tapping this plus sign and it will give you the option to add whatever you want here using the plus sign on the right and here at the top you have the uh, countries and continents you can choose from and when you add it it will allow you to see quick updates here on your home screen plus you can do the same thing over here from this button follow investments which will also take you to the watch list so you can add more if you want uh, and you have a refresh button here at the bottom right corner to get a quick refresh if the data is outdated the last change i spotted in the google app when i search for anything and then tap and hold on any of the search results it shows a pop-up here at the top says drop here to start search and when i do this it will search for the same exact result in the google app so if i want to get more results related to a specific one i can do this and this is the first time for me to see this feature so please let me know in the comments if you know it or it's new to you as well next google meet and the first change is the ability to choose a custom background for your meetings all you need to do is to tap on the effects button and then scroll through the carousel and you will see a plus button over here tapping on it will simply open your gallery so you can choose a specific photo so let me pick one here from my phone so i'm gonna pick this one and you will notice here that it's loading and added the background for me which is a nice touch the second change i noticed is the much more backgrounds you can choose from now if you scroll through you will see a lot of new things that i've never seen before you have here a lot of backgrounds and then when you go to filters you will also see some new ones over here next google play store and the first change is related to the look you will notice here that everything has a blue accent color and instead of the green one we used to have and it seems like the app is going to fully support material you and google usually starts with the blue color and then expands the palette so let's wait and see what's going to happen in the future change number two is the slightly different call to action buttons in the featured cards as an example this chat gpt card has an install button with a clock next to it that means that the app is not available yet and when you tap on this button it will simply install the app once it becomes available in the play store and here you will see the button is now different it says unregister so if you want to unregister you can simply tap the button one more time secondly if the card has an install button you will see an arrow next to it this arrow will allow you to choose which devices you want to install this app on which will make it easier for you and instead of going inside the app page next google messages and the first change is in creating groups now when you tap on the create group button you will see a checkbox next to the contacts which wasn't the case before and for reference here is my pixel 7 pro i tapped on the same button 
and I'm not getting the same checkboxes. The second change is in the suggested replies. You will see here that they are slightly thicker than before. Under settings, I found a couple of new toggles. The first one is under RCS chat. You will see here something called backup format for sending attachments and you can choose between SMS with link or MMS. The second one is under settings and then advanced and here's a new toggle called service messages that you can turn off. I'm not sure what it means by service messages, but if you do, here you got it. Next, Google Maps. And it only got a minor tweak. When you start the directions for any place, you will notice here that the transportation options are now centered under the search bars, which wasn't the case before. This is the older design on my Pixel 6a, and this is how it looks now on the 7 Pro. Next, the Gmail app. And it got two new changes. When you open an email like this, for example, when you scroll all the way down, you should have the option to unsubscribe from this email. But now you can do the same thing by tapping on the ellipses at the top right corner and then tap on unsubscribe, which will make it easier for you. The second change is also under the same menu. The move to inbox option has been renamed to mark important. Now let's end this video by talking about Google search. And the first change I'm gonna show you is the new search generative experience. This is an AI powered feature that will give you all the information you need to know about something. And instead of going through multiple web pages to get the same info, and this is one of the features Google announced in the IO event. So in this case, I searched for the California roll. And here I have some images about the, the item and then a quick summary from Wikipedia in addition to the origin, the main ingredients and some highly rated videos if I want to watch them. You will also notice here that the cards and the filters showing in this page matches my wallpaper colors over here. So it seems like Google search is going to support material you over time, but this is not the case with each and every search query I try. It only happens when I get this new search generative experience. Last but not least, when you tap on the filters button, you will get this redesigned overlay card to choose the filters you want. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new features I wanted to show you in Google Apps. And if you spotted any new one, please reach me out on social media so I can include in my future episodes. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.